Hey everybody, it's Stephanie with nestinginnashville.com and today I wanted to talk a little bit more about condominium financing. So in this video I want to talk about FHA, an FHA loan and condominium financing. FHA used to do lots of condo loans. It was pretty easy if a, if a development, you know, if, if you were a first time buyer and you needed a low down payment loan option, you would go FHA. Um, and since the recession, FHA has really changed their policies when it comes to doing condo financing. So essentially, what needs to happen is a development needs to apply to become FHA approved. And in that process, the development, you know, the, the management of the company has to submit a, a questionnaire and talk about how many renters are in the complex, how many second homes, how many owner occupants, how many people have FHA mortgages, what percentage of the development is um, you know, commercial space. And there's all these rules and regulations that uh, a development has to jump through in order to gain FHA approval. There's a website that I will link below that you can check out. It only works during business hours, which is the craziest thing I've ever heard of a website that doesn't work on the weekends. But anyways, it's a government website where you can type in the zip code of the development that you're interested in and find out, is that development FHA approved? And if it is not FHA approved, it is very hard to get FHA financing at the moment. In the past, there used to be, you know, a way, a protocol to, you know, for a development to gain FHA approval, but it's hard to do it right now. And basically, the people that have to do it are the people that are in charge of the HOA. You can't, as a buyer, you know, make that that action happen. So, if it's not on the list, you need to look at some other financing options, perhaps a conventional loan with 5 or 3% down payment.